Hey everyone, this is Mike with Living Wild. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I kneel my brass. We all know the importance of kneeling your brass, but I want to show you that it actually works and the benefits of it. Um, using the method I use, and there's a bunch of them out there, is I just use a cordless drill, propane torch, and a deep socket. I take my, unfire, or my once fired brass, or however many times um, you want to fire it before you anneal it, but I do it each time after I fire it, um, into a deep socket like this, put it on the drill, um, spin it, and then as I'm spinning it, I use a propane torch and I get the flame right on the shoulder. Uh, it's usually for about a count of five uh, for me, but what I'm looking for is the tip of the brass will start to glow red, and as soon as it gets to the start of the shoulder is when I take it out. Um, so I made some videos out in the shop to show you how I anneal it exactly, and hopefully you can kind of see the color. And then also we put the brass through a stress test uh, to see unannealed brass, how long it takes for it to break, and then annealed brass if it breaks at the same time or if it takes longer to break. I want to show everyone how I anneal my brass. I use a cordless drill and a deep socket. I put the flame in a 45 degree angle starting at the tip of the brass and as it starts to glow red it will travel down the neck of the brass and as soon as it hits the shoulder is when I stop and I dump out the brass. So I'll get a couple pieces now and I'll show you exactly what I do and then we'll go from there. So here's a deep socket uh, with my brass inside of it. And once again, we'll hit the flame right at the tip and watch the red go down. Hopefully you guys can see it. It's not real bright in here, but it's not real dark either. And stop. And do one more piece. And stop. After a while, you'll get kind of an idea of how long you need to do it for. Uh, for me, in this method, it's usually about a count of five. Right, this is what the two pieces of brass look like after I get done annealing it. Uh, you can see that the discoloration went a little bit past the shoulder. This is kind of what I'm looking for, about a quarter inch past the shoulder at most. Um, this is dirty brass. So it's a little bit darker, clean brass will be a little bit cleaner looking, but this is basically what I'm looking for. Right, so next, I've never seen anybody take brass to failure to see if they're actually annealing it the proper way. So what I wanna do is I took an unannealed piece of brass of the same caliber and I split it in half and I put two lines on there uh, and I'm gonna put it in a vise and we're actually going to bend it until it breaks on one piece of unannealed brass and count how many times it takes to break it, uh, putting it through some stress. And then the other piece of brass, which is the other half of the case, we're going to anneal each time after we bend it and see if it breaks at the same amount of uh, bends or if it lasts longer uh, being annealed. So here's the two pieces of brass. Let's put the first piece in and count how many times it takes to break it. or until it fails. Twenty-two pieces or twenty-two bins and this brass failed. All right, here's the second piece of brass. This one hasn't been an annealed yet either but we're gonna start off by annealing it once, how I normally anneal, and then we're gonna bend, bend test it until it fails.
Okay, I went to a little bit above 30 bins, and as you can see, there's still no cracks in the brass, so obviously annealing it the way we've been doing is proof that it is working. Here is the unnealed piece of a brass and the annealed piece of brass. And you can see the heat went down a little bit, a little bit below the shoulder, a little bit farther than what I like, but for the most part, pretty consistent with how I annealed the brass earlier. And here's a look at the back sides of them. So if you're wondering if your brass is being annealed when you do it the way I showed you, here's pretty much proof that it is. All right, I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you.